These compressors are inside the units. So I'm gonna show you the technique that I use to come in here and scrap out the electric motors. There's a lot of copper in here that make it worthwhile to take the time to cut these apart. So what you wanna do is cut around the compressor all the way somewhere in that range, pull the top off, and then we'll get into it. Uh, I've been using these foam earplugs for a while now in the shop, and they're extremely cheap and well worth it to preserve your hearing. So with that, you'll see me start cutting these units apart. All right, so that took about five minutes to cut open top of the unit, which exposes the scroll part of the compressor. And this is where you need the external torques. I think these are number 10s. There's four of them. These have compressor oil in them. So once you see me take this off, you'll see me dump out the oil. So once those four bolts come up, this comes up and there you can see the scroll compressor. So I put this in my number one steel. A little bit of pull. Now we gotta dump out the oil and make two more cuts. We gotta cut down the seam to split the case and then one more right across the bottom. So now that the top and bottom are cut, we got one more cut to make down the case to split it. So that way we can get the electric motor out. It's so strong and I can never get it out. So once you cut it, the case splits apart and then you can pull the magnet and the motor right out. And hit this with a sledgehammer. This pops out, this becomes number one steel. And then the casing is light iron. Number one, light iron. So you're also left with the armature. Uh, I pop this plastic case off and then I always take a chisel and chisel here and here nice chunk of aluminum here and here and then this goes number one steel and then you got aluminum all right so this is what we're after um, the electric motor inside all this is number two copper number two copper um, and then once you're done getting it out this becomes number one steel All the windings are still inside the motor so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how I figured out how to get those out quickly and this is how I do it I have about a six inch piece of pipe that I've just kind of 
come across as being the perfect uh, tool to use on getting the copper out of the electric motors that I have. Um, so all that you do is you pick up this bad boy. You set it right on there. I have a modified screwdriver. It was a flathead metal top. And normally what I do is I come in here and sit down. And then as you can see, with very little effort, well, take it back. Now you're left with a really nice chunk, probably 30 pounds of number one steel. And that's why you cut them apart. I'd say you get about three to four pounds of number two copper out of each compressor depending on the size um, and you know on average dollar ninety two dollars a pound for number two copper that's US that about wraps up this video appreciate you guys hanging out watching this video if you uh, enjoyed the content do me a favor give me a thumbs up like this video drop me a comment down below and please subscribe to the channel over in this area here thanks for watching I'll see you later.